Let's do a fast loop. You ready? Yep. I want to see what it can do. Pull him back now. Wow. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. I'm telling you, this thing just feels like it's made out of a solid piece of steel, you know, in the air. It is tough. Here we go. Loop. <laughs> That's fast. Yes, it is. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia is hanging out with Abby. Popeye's <laughs> hanging out at the house. It's a little muddy out today. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. I have in my hands a beautiful sport racer plane that I cannot wait to fly for you. This is the Durafly EFX Racer. It comes in multiple colors. This thing is just sheer beauty, in my opinion. And it should be capable on a 4S battery of hitting over 100 miles an hour. Please excuse the construction noises and baby noises in the background as we tear up the skies with this amazing plane. Isn't this thing just beautiful? This is probably one of the best looking planes I've ever seen and Durafly always delivers. Now you heard me right at the beginning of the video when I said this can go over 100 miles an hour. You've got a 1780 uh, KV brushless outrunner motor paired with a 60 amp ESC in the plug and play version, which is amazing. It's a simple four channel plane, no flight stabilization, no bells and whistles. This is how planes are meant to be flown and that's what we're going to do today. Now, because I've never flown a plane over 100 miles an hour, I'm actually going to fly on a 3S setup, which is highly recommended to start into. So I'm going to fly on a 3S 2200 milliamp LiPo battery with a 8x6 prop. Now if you bump up to 4S, it's highly recommended that you do an 1800 milliamp battery on a 7x6.5 prop. So you're going to shrink the prop a little bit so you can hit those higher RPMs. 100 miles an hour is kind of insane and I think that's a little intimidating for me. I think I can maybe do it but I just wanted to ease into it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm very excited to fly this. You'll notice that the servos are on the top of the wing and that's because this is a belly lander. We don't have any landing gear to get in the way of that 100 mile an hour speed. And don't get me wrong, 3S on this plane is not going to be wimpy. This is still going to be a really fast plane. I kind of wish there was a folding prop on this, but if there was, we wouldn't be able to hit those speeds. So the servos are mounted up top with the push rods to protect it from those belly landings. We've got, as I said, four channels, aileron, throttle, rudder and elevator control. This is supposed to have the ability to do knife edge, uh, which is crazy considering the size of that rudder. I I'm going to fly this fast. I'm going to try to fly a few maneuvers. You can, I'm sure you can hear the wind if you can hear it over the construction in the background, but it is very windy and so you'll have to bear with me on the wind flight today, but I just couldn't help myself. This thing has been just begging to be flown and uh, I just can't wait to fly it for you. You'll notice here too that the battery hatch is held on with a little plastic pull tab and an, a, an earth magnet underneath holding that down with a little tab on the front of that. Inside you can see a really nice clean wire job by Durafly. The servos are just right here for easy access. All the servo wires were right in the little canopy and I am using just my my favorite transmitter, I'll just tell you guys, it's been my favorite for five years because it's easy to use. I put this thing in it and got it ready in like less than a minute. And the plane went together in less than a half hour with my dad. It's, it's really just clipping and snapping and screwing things together. It's amazing. The, the wing does come apart if you want it to, but it's so small that this can go in your car in the trunk, like a tiny, tiny, tiny car. I mean, it just fit anywhere. I think, honestly, I really think this is probably my favorite looking plane that I've ever had my hands on. It's just beautiful. Look at that. From the tip of the tail to the nose cone, it's just amazing. And, and it came like this. I did not put these decals on. This is just beautiful. It looks like a sponsored race plane. And this is just kind of my favorite style of plane. My, my favorite World War II plane is a P-51 Mustang. This kind of resembles that in a way, and I love underbelly race style planes, sport planes, and that's what this is. I am so excited. I just cannot wait to fly this. Um, the CG is toward the front. You're going to want to mount your battery in the front of the plane. And you know what? Let, let's just fly it. I could talk about this all day long. Let's just go fly it. He's so nervous. All 
All right, when you're ready. Whoo! I think my lipo alarm set a little too high, but it's up. Good launch, Dan, thank you. A lot easier to have someone launch that for you than doing it yourself, <laughs> but here we go. I gotta trim it up before I... Uh... That little loop was actually all it. I have to trim it that much. So. Wow, <laughs> so too much up elevator, huh? Yeah. I was gonna say, you're it's really high for Nathan yeah, Sailor. No, 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 you're no, flying no. like me. It's supposed to be really fast plane, so... It's very tail heavy right now, too. So white over there. Yeah, sorry. Won't do this much longer. Won't do this much <laughs> okay. longer. Is that full down now? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, all right. I think I'm pretty comfortable now. I might need a little more trim, but here we go. Do a little bit faster of a flyby. You ready, Abby? Uh huh. My alarm's going off, so I'm gonna have to adjust the alarm. I think I put it on 3.6, and in the summer that's fine, but in the winter, not so fine. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, where'd you go? Just a snappy little thing. Very quick. It's flying on rails. I do need to trim it up a little bit more. But I like this. Yeah, it's very fast, but a good fast. It's solid. Here we go. Very quick. I mean, this could just climb forever. So let's do that. After this flyby, fly in. I want to climb straight up. There's another plane in the Goodbye, air. Goodbye, airplane. <laughs> I'm going to bring it down just because it's pretty high up there. I'm going to loop down. Still got a little bit of climb going on, so I need to trim it down some more, but this is nice. This is really nice. I think I could probably manage it on my own now that it's all trimmed up. Let's do some really quick rolls when I come back around. You ready? Yep. When I'm out over there, I'll do some rolls. Very nice. Wow. This is a solid little plane. I don't feel like I have any flex that I'm having to deal with. Oh, there's a plane out there. Oh my gosh, that looks so close. It looked bad, but it wasn't. <laughs> just quick. I just want to put a fresh battery in and do this again and adjust my LiPo alarm so you guys don't have to hear that beeping all the time. Very fast. The only thing I'm worried about this plane is snapping a prop when I land. That's it. And I'm only flying on three cell and I'm actually on an eight inch prop? Is eight that right? by six. Oh, six inch prop, okay. Yeah, so the first little takeoff you saw and the nose went in the ground, the prop boat broke. Right. And then on further discovery, the wrong size prop was on there. So in the box, they had the wrong size prop because according to their website on a three cell battery, you need an eight by six electric prop. So we went and bought a new eight by six electric prop, but um, we yeah, don't have the tools better. to get the nose cone on here at the field. So we'll get the nose cone on some other time. Let's do a fast loop. You ready? Yep. I want to see what it can do. Pulling back now. Wow. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. I'm telling you, this thing just feels like it's made out of a solid piece of steel. You know, in the air, it is tough. Here we go. Loop. <laughs> That's fast. Yes, it is. Okay, my battery's completely done. <laughs> no control? No, I have control, but I no know, power, throttle. so it's coming in. I pushed it way too fast, way too far. Landing! I'm down. Good job. Hopefully that wasn't my prop. I heard something click. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fun to fly, okay? I will be, the, the very first thing I'm going to say before I point out the obvious broken prop is that this was fun to fly. The second Dan launched that for me and I got got everything trimmed in and <laughs> it was just fun. It reminded me a lot of the Zazzy, which I absolutely love. They don't sell anymore. <laughs> and it was just, once it was trimmed up, it just felt like it was on rails. I felt like the plane was made out of a solid piece of steel 
I could just throw the sticks over as hard as I wanted to in any direction and it would just do the loop, snap right into it, snap right out of it. And this was your maiden flight. This was my maiden flight and I... It, I well, lately, kind of your maiden because your first flight. First maiden was just into the ground. <laughs> I don't like to do a lot of maidens because, I mean, who really wants to see me trimming it up for the first two or three minutes? But I think in this case, that's all you're going to get because I don't know how many more times I'm going to fly this plane. This was one of the most fun planes to fly that I've had my hands on in quite some time. I'm a big Warbird fan. I like sporty planes. I don't necessarily love 3D planes, probably just because I'm not great at flying 3D maneuvers, but I love sporty planes and this is that. And it does that so well. When it was in the air, oh my gosh, it was amazing. But you know what I don't want to do? Change a prop every time I fly the plane. And so, yes, I was an idiot and on my first takeoff I just didn't give it enough power and it went into the ground and I broke the prop fair enough but I had a feeling that we may have a similar experience with this I had a nice smooth landing the grass is like a sheet of mud right now I mean it's very soft out very soft and my prop snapped granted I don't think this is the exact prop I should have been flying on because things smell a little warm in there. I don't think I damaged anything, but I probably pushed the, uh, the whole setup a little too hard. Regardless, two attempts to put this in the air and two snap props, and I don't see any way around that unless you just smooth off all the speed, bleed off all the speed, and then flare at the last second and maybe get lucky, but that prop is gonna take the brunt of your hit every time unless you just get really lucky and the prop stops spinning horizontally instead of vertically. Biggest flaw of the plane, obviously. Um, it's not the first plane to have this kind of a setup and it won't be the last. When it's in the air, amazing. I'd give this like a 10 out of 10, raving review, bye, 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 bye. But that setup is fairly limiting and, and maybe, maybe that's to be expected. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. You know, when you buy a belly lander and the Motor and prop is up front. Should you just also buy 30 props to go with it and keep your tools handy and say, you know, you got a 50-50 shot, Nate. You might snap a prop, you might not. Uh, that's, that's part of it. Just let me know in the comment section below. I wanna hear from you guys. Otherwise, amazing, just so much fun. Really nice plane. I'll have a link in the description box below if you wanna check it out for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.